welcome, welcome to another ed edition of Willpower Transformation, where we change mindsets, transform behaviors, and empower lives. I am bold, black, blessed, and beautiful Audrey. Tonight, I'm sharing with you one of my poems that I did in time of isolation while we all affirm meditation. So come with me, and I want you to listen carefully. I want you to listen keenly, and I want you to be inspired. So let's go. First of all, don't take it for no joke. Them call it COVID-19. And it calls it for lockdown in a quarantine. In a way, never so seen. Feeling so clandestine and elephantine. But them say, it's to make you become pristine. The coronavirus, I eat me attack. It there all about like dust. And I bring about all kinds of crisis and fuss fuss. It make you lose all the common touch. It make you crouch and grouch. And not even a smudge. As no one you not trust. But here look on the positive side. As we take you upon a sanitization ride. The crisis brings out the best in us. It teaches many of us who used to couscous how to be humble, how to live simple. Draw close to Master God and know say a him we have to put first. It teaches us to be innovative and creative. Hand off a turn with and make fashion in a time when money and food ration in a almost every nation. It teaches us how to show compassion and give affection to those who are experiencing segregation, dislocation, depression, and feel a sense of rejection. And that we can be put in a similar situation. It validates that money can't buy life. And we need to live in peace, harmony. And stop build strife. COVID-19 came like a thief in the night. Who came to steal, kill and destroy everyone and everything in sight. But I tell you, if we all put on the armor of God, then we can win this fight. It reinforces and solidifies that sickness and death are no respecter of person. Regardless of status, title, position, qualification, wealth, power, authority, affiliation, gender, race, religion, and even denomination. Coronavirus can cause all self-destruction in a decent time of isolation because it messes up with meditation. It make you want to try all sorts of experimentation like masturbation. Yes, masturbation. And self-gratification that lead to deprivation. But me a warn you know. No bother with the masturbation. No make them fool you know and tell you say a stress relief technique and relaxation and for safe sex protection. Come make me bring you in pan a thing. Masturbation is an abominable sin. It is dishonoring your body. It is loss of the heart, loss of the flesh, loss of the eyes, vain imagination and vile affection. This is not for my belief and our opinion, but a vivid translation of the word of God in Romans 1 verses 28 to 32. To enlighten, edify, and fortify me and you. Me know say some people are going to burn me out. Because they don't want to hear this especially because enough of them are do it. But me have to do it with the sword of the spirit. 
the best sanitization tip. No bother with the procrastination neither. Use the time for introspection, self-evaluation, detoxification, reconstruction, and restoration, and put your life back in order. Fortify your mind, your hardware, upload the antivirus software, and keep out all types of malware out of your program because you know depend where them depend and you know depend feed them bad plan. Reset your password, download the makeover and transformation apps, and put all stops to decode your life for your growth and acceleration towards rebuilding your nation and returning to civilization. Well, I that me depend tonight in a isolation. Brick pan, brick pan, brick. Rock pan, rock pan, rock. We solid as a rock. I remember. Turn on your yard and build back. I am out and decoding. But before, let me share a word with you. As the master God said, in Deuteronomy 32, 18. Don't desert the rock who fathered you. And don't forget the God who gave you birth to come on this earth. Don't forget. Don't forget that you have a lot to give thanks for. You are on the wake up list this morning. Be blessed. Thank you for checking in. Love you. God blessings.